imagine that I have a very good left kick and I can always land my left kick on Lanny. Well, if I know I can land my left kick on Lanny, when I'm sparring, I want to try and use other techniques that maybe I can't land all the time. If I can work on some of my other weapons, that'll help improve those weapons rather than just trying to use the one thing that I can do every time. For this example, maybe I'm not good with my hands and I'm really good at landing my feet. In this mini sparring session, I'm not going to kick Lanny at all. I'll block his kicks, but I'm only going to throw punches. And that's going to be an example of restricting certain techniques in sparring. Ideally, you just think of it in your head and say, I'm not going to use a specific weapon. And if he picks up on that, great. And he knows I'm not kicking, then he can do whatever. But if he doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter because it's, it's what you're working on at the time. So you can change it up anytime. You don't have to have your instructor tell you, oh, restrict your sparring or restrict your techniques. You can do it on your own and restrict yourself. Because remember, sparring is not about winning. It's about trying to get better. So I'm going to restrict my kicks in this little drill. Lanny will use everything he has. I'm going to block and I'll just throw punches and I'll, maybe I'll throw a couple knees. Yeah, see, I even forgot how to restrict it. You can either restrict it to a few techniques, but if you just do one technique, sometimes that makes it simpler to your brain, because you might not be able to remember multiple things to try and hold back.